Hello folks, Colm here, Commerce Gurus. Welcome to the Factory WordPress theme install tutorial. Okay, so we're going to get, get straight into it. So the tutorial assumes you start from the perspective of having WordPress set up on your own server. If you don't know how to do that, some links in the documentation that you would have received the theme. So on with the install process itself. So to get things going, we go into Appearance and Themes. Click Add New. Well, first what you want to do is click upload theme once you're in the add theme section so you won't be installing it from here um, you want to hit choose file and then what you want to do is you want to go into the factory package which is the main zip file that you would have received a link to once you bought the theme with inside the factory package zip file when you unzip it you find a number of folders theme install child theme licensing documentation demo data the one we're interested in for right now is the theme install directory inside that you'll find a factory.zip file so this is the file we select and we click install now so what's going to happen is that file is uploading to my server um, the file is quite big I think it's in and around let me just check file is around 12.3 megs so what that basically means you can see it's uploaded straight away and activate but if you're a uh, server if you see a message for example that says are you sure you want to do this basically that means that your uh, your web servers upload limit is too small to upload the file it needs to be greater than 12.3 megs most decent WordPress web hosts today will have a file upload limit in the region of anywhere between 12 and 50 megs. If it's any lower than 12, it's probably too low anyway. So you need to speak to your hosting company to get them to increase it. So once the upload process is complete, you hit activate and you see factory is now installed. You'll see the new theme activated visit site. We're not going to visit the site just yet. You'll see the theme requires the following plugins, advanced custom fields, commerce gears, toolkit, redux, and visual composer. And there's also a number of other plugins that we recommend. We're going to kick off the install process for those plugins. To make things simple, I just select all and choose install and apply. And that will install all the plugins in one go. Usually, is, again, this can be quite a quick process on a decent web, web host like SiteGround. If you're on somewhere like GoDaddy, look, you know, I'm not going to say anything too particularly damning about GoDaddy here. Nothing that's been already said elsewhere. Um, if you start to see memory issues when you're installing plugins, it's not a good sign about your hosting company in general. This should all be very, very straightforward and simple. And if it's not, chances are it's your hosting company's fault and not the theme's fault. So they are all installed, and we just do the same, and then we activate all these plugins in one go. It's okay, so that all your plugins are installed. You go back to the dashboard, you'll probably get a takeover by one of these plugins, which I personally don't like very much, but that's the way CC Vision Compose taking over. We're just closing these down. So all our plugins are installed. What's next? Next thing we want to do is install the demo data. So the demo data will when I click this import demo data button here, it may look not look like anything's actually happening on the screen, but it is. Um, Again, on a really slow web post, it could take a couple of minutes. You'll see for me, if I just click this, you'll see it probably takes no more than my very slow sentence to complete. So you'll see, all done, have fun. So if it's not that quick, uh, and it seems to be sitting here for a long period of time, or even worse, you get an error screen. So if you get an internal server error screen, which is very, very common on hosts like GoDaddy at this point, because what's called their max execution timeout uh, is too low. So it needs to be anywhere up to 120 seconds. That value needs to be set for your hosting company. So we do have some further information about how to set your max execution timeout in our uh, in our uh, documentation so again this is referenced in our theme but essentially this is the value we're talking about here max execution time now for in our main document as we say you should really set it as high as 300 120 should be okay, okay in most cases but I generally prefer to be safe and sorry especially on other crap posts like GoDaddy, GoDaddy um, set it nice and high okay so back to the install process so our demo data is installed. What's left to do? Just go into, uh, let's go and check, and make sure that our menus have been set to menus. Yeah, great, so everything's been done. So I'm just gonna have, have a quick look at our website now. Let's see what we've got. Okay, so you can see, basically, uh, the theme has been installed. Lots of demo data, including widgets, 
have been automatically pulled in really matching what you see on the the demo side itself you'll see so dark placeholder gray placeholder gray placeholder so we're not sending you or, or installing uh, the same images that are used on the main demo site two reasons a it makes the install file very big uh, and b for copyright reasons we can't redistribute these types of images to be honest with you you should be using your own images anyway so when you see placeholders like that you're wondering oh where are those images gone they're not supplied with the theme and that's pretty standard practice at this point in the game so what we want to do is at the moment you can see this our home page is set to be our news page let's go and change that so we went to settings reading we click on and let's choose home for our front page and for posts let's select news i hit save changes i'll go back to the go back to the home page okay so you'll see now let me just pause for one brief moment and i'll be back in a second okay so again more great placeholders on our home page but you can see it's now active Again, same as our demo site. This is missing layer slider. So what you need to do is import the layer slider separately. Can't do that as part of our demo data import process at the moment. So we just go to layer slider, import, export. I'm going to choose file. And back in our factory package, you'll see that there is a demo data folder. I'm going to layer slider, choose the zip file here, for factory slides. Again. If you see timeouts or something strange here, talk to your host. So you'll see now our home base slider is installed. We may need to actually assign that to the page now. Let's see. It automatically assigns itself. Perfect. So there you go. That's basically our demo data installed. You'll see all the various different pages that you would have seen on the demo slider here. Left navigation is a sidebar widget is here. Our testimonial section is here. Again, placeholder images. And our news section. Simple as that. Contact page. There you go. It's all there. So just very quickly, uh, back in WordPress. So common things that people like to do after the theme is installed and, can, and the demo data is set up. Uh, so if you want to go into uh, the theme options, which you'll see from the theme options here, you see there's quite a few options around um, key parts of the theme. So the first one people, most people do is they'll want to upload a logo. As you can see right now in the demos, it's got the name of the site. So you can do that from here, logo file. Um, you can adjust the height, the padding around the logo. You can apply your sticky logo, which is the logo you'll see once you scroll down underneath the viewport. Um, and the container width around that particular logo itself. Uh, various different settings here for enabling, disabling different parts of the site. Um, so there's quite a few theme options, typography, various different page options, uh, footer settings. So you'll find um if you're looking to change for example things like these guys down here they're actually in uh, their widgets so they appear in appearance and widgets so you'll see there's quite a lot of widgets so for example the footer ones here text widgets there's the latest news widget some more text and the second footer has again more text widgets so all these will match the demo site post install, you want to replace these hash links just with your own links to your own social properties. Um, and you'll find as well that, for example, the pages sidebar has advanced advanced, advanced sidebar pages, um, which generates the sub navigation, sub menu. And um, so again, there's a shop sidebar, we'll do a separate tutorial for how to install WooCommerce, which the theme is fully compatible with. Uh, and that's really it. So, you know, after that, everything else is mostly just pages and posts. Theme is fully compatible with Visual Composer. So when you're editing pages, uh, you'll see, for example, on the About page, if I just skip back and show you what that looks like again here. 
uh, you'll see that every page has a big title in the middle, which is controlled from a setting here, show and hide. So if I set that to hide, it'll hide that big middle panel, like so. So if you don't see, another common issue, this show page title section, it's probably because you didn't import the demo data or the demo data process wasn't completed correctly. Uh, you can also confirm that by looking at custom fields. If you don't see custom fields and values accordingly when you come in here, it means that the demo data process hasn't been completed. So you should really do that and complete that process to ensure the page title, uh, the show high page title option shows up correctly on uh, when you're editing a page. Then you see the rest of the page here, which is our bed page, is controlled via Visual Composer. So anyone who's familiar with that, uh, you'll be able to get in and start making changes straight away. See the number of page templates over here. So we have a default template, which includes the left sidebar, our blog, a full width template, the right sidebar, and a WooCommerce full width template. So very, very straightforward. Okay, so that's really just completes our initial uh, factory setup tutorial. Um, make sure to uh, check the docs if you have any other questions. There's a separate documentation folder and good commerce gurus you'll find a factory pdf document in there which includes a little bit more information on what you need to do to set up factory and of course if you have any questions that aren't answered by either this video or the documentation feel free to shoot us an email to support at commercegurus.com and make sure you reference your theme forest purchase code uh, just to make sure that you are a valid customer all right folks talk to you soon thank you